Welcome to Nighttime Fidgens with the FX Dreamline. So once again, here's my setup. The Dreamline light bottle version in 177. It will be set at low power. I'll be shooting JSB heavy 10.3 grains at 700 feet per second. And it'll be topped off with the PARD NV008 night sight. So, drive up, park the car and go into the first barn and spot these two so I go ahead and take this guy out and throw it immediately out to the back where the cats are and lo and behold here kitty 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 he takes off so there's a house that's located next to the farm and uh, I guess that cat really lives over there because that is exactly where he ended up going so had to go find someplace secure for him to go ahead and eat. So, all right, back in the barn. I'm going ahead and shooting pigeons tonight. And uh, this is a farm that I started shooting at two years ago. He had a pretty good heavy infestation of the starlings at the time, along with a lot of pigeons. And through the years, I've basically wiped out almost all of the starlings. Um, this was t uh, taken on February 11th. I went there February 10th, and he probably had about 500 starlings in one of the barns. And I'll have a video on that later, but basically when I left, there might have been 50. And when I came back uh, on the 11th, the night that I'm shooting these pigeons, um, there was probably 25, 30 in the barn. And the ones I could get to, I could. But then I was like, well, I might as well just take out these pigeons because he doesn't have very many pigeons left uh, to really come back there in the summer so since the uh, lights are out and they tend to sit went ahead and worked on his uh, the rest of his pigeon problem so again this is a 177 and uh, I know people always ask you know I'm gonna be shooting this or I'm gonna be shooting that what caliber do I need and you know ultimately if you have a 177 that shoots you know, 700 feet per second or more, or, you know, right around there. You're always going to have a follow-up shot like this, whether you're shooting a 77, a 22, or a 25. Uh, I've shown that on my previous videos. You know, even with the 25 caliber, I had follow-up shots, which I didn't understand, but oh well. But you shoot it right, you can drop them just like I dropped that one. And uh, this gun's nice and accurate, and... There's two in a row. They just drop like lead balloons. So I think I had two follow-up shots in this session tonight. <clears throat> but for the most part, I'm aiming for their uh, heart-lung area. So and some of them fly into the, with the ladies, and some of them just drop straight down. So this guy's going to go... And that was the end of him. Um, the uh, cats are outside the barn, but there's like five or six of them. They didn't come in while I was shooting, but when I was done, they were very happy. That was a nice shot. I think it was a head and neck shot, judging by how he fell, but... The other thing is uh, almost all these shots are 20 to 30 yards away. Now this guy flew off and he came actually toward me. So I had to get the part down to the 10 yard mark because that's about where the bird landed. But that's him. <clears throat> and then I went back up to the top to get the other guy that I saw. But the bulk of these shots are all 20, uh, I'm sorry, 30 yards or more. That's a nice shot right on the side. You see the blood coming out, so... That's pretty nice. Good shot again. Take that guy out, drop him. He's down by the ladies. That's uh, the crossover for the parlor. And this one I'm just aiming for his back because that's where the lung and the heart are. So that's what I'm aiming for.
Grab him. He hits the ground and jumps up. Woo! What happened? Uh, not feeling too well right now. Another one drops. I mean, it, 177. Again, if you aim right, you're going to take them out with no problem. This is a nice shot off of the V. Guy sitting there pretty and just drop him. And back up to the other two that were sitting there. And This guy's like, what are you doing? I'm looking for you, buddy. <clears throat> now somehow, that must have missed, because that's him. I don't know how I missed, but that's him. Well, second shot did not miss. And there you see the blood come out of his beak. Just amazed at this part. Things I don't think it's going to pick up, and it picks up. Yep, got that guy as well. But that was my second follow up. You see him all the way in there with the ladies. He's uh, waddling around. There he is on the right. <clears throat> trying to jump up with the lady, so I had to go down there and take another shot on him. That was a good shot. Looks like it's a neck shot again. I don't think it was a head shot, but... He's falling head over heels. You know, it was a few days before Valentine, so he might have been doing a special dance. He just dropped right out. Bam. Another guy drops. So I do a follow-up on him just because I'm not quite sure if I got him real well. You see his head beep, bopping around. And then I take this shot and, yeah, that's the end of him. He's sitting in the corner. Uh, can you see me? Yes, he can see you. And another collection for the door. That door's got so many birds on it. It's crazy. He landed, believe it or not. I thought it was a good shot. Now he's like about 15 yards away. But now watch this. You know, I, I'm thinking, did I miss this guy? Did I miss this guy? And then, lo and behold, I'm like, what the heck? That's blood. So he's obviously bleeding on the other side of his wing. And uh, he's not long for his days here on Earth. So went ahead and shot again. And he went up there, died, rolled over, and came crashing down. And you can't quite see it, so now I'm walking up to it so that you all can see what where he is and that he fell down in there. 
<clears throat> Go ahead and line up on this guy. Take him out. Another nice shot. Drop him. And uh, this is the last shot for the video and for the night. So I go ahead and drop him. He lands on the roof again or on the door. So that's what a bucket of pigeons look like. And out of the 35 that I got, I got 21. And the other 14 fell in with the ladies. So thanks again for watching. Please like and subscribe. And as always, leave any comments below.